multiple myeloma used to have a life expectancy of somewhere between three and four years. That, however, has dramatically changed now. People are living with this disease a lot longer, making it a chronic condition. Hi, I'm Dr. Nupur Raje. I am the director for the Center for Multiple Myeloma at the Massachusetts General Hospital Cancer Center, and I'm also a professor of medicine at Harvard Medical School. And this is Clues to Cures, Searching for a Cure for Multiple Myeloma. Multiple myeloma is a rare bone marrow cancer which affects about 30,000 people in the United States on a yearly basis. If left untreated, it can cause problems to your bones, your kidneys, your blood counts, and result in infections. Myeloma typically affects people in their 60s and 70s. Men are more commonly affected, and we see it affect the African-American race more commonly compared to others. Not that long ago, we were treating multiple myeloma with chemotherapeutic agents with the old traditional chemotherapy. We used to see a lot of nausea, vomiting, hair loss. But if you see a myeloma patient today, you're not going to be able to recognize that they have myeloma because they are able to live their lives fairly normally. These last 20 years have seen a lot of advances. We are using newer drugs to treat the same disease. We are using drugs in pill forms, as well as more targeted approaches, including monoclonal antibodies in the treatment of myeloma. The new treatments we have, including proteasome inhibitors, monoclonal antibodies, and immunomodulatory drugs, allow us to make this into a chronic disease. And with this, we do not see any of these side effects. In fact, patients can continue living their lives, continue working full time if they're on these medications. What these drugs also allow us to do is really deepen responses so that we are able to find one in a million cells with myeloma getting to a minimal residual disease negative state with these combinations and that is referred to as MRD, or minimal residual disease state. This is translating into myeloma becoming a chronic disease. Now that we've made myeloma a chronic disease, the next step obviously is to work towards curing multiple myeloma. Excitingly, we have a lot of immunotherapeutic approaches for the treatment of myeloma, and at Mass General Brigham, we've been at the forefront of these advances. We have cellular therapies such as CAR T cells, and we have the first CAR T cell product which has been approved for the treatment of multiple myeloma patients, showing really very promising results for the future. These novel immunotherapeutic approaches have resulted in very high response rates in patients with myeloma, as high as 80 to 90%. All of the novel drugs for multiple myeloma have been FDA approved in the last 15 and 20 years, and that is remarkable progress for this disease. No other cancer has seen this degree of progress. We are at an incredible time in research in multiple myeloma, and we are at a threshold where I think we are curing a significant proportion already, and our goal is to cure the majority of myeloma patients so that they never hear from their disease again. Click here for more videos from Mass General Brigham.